The following is a release from the People's National Party Media Unit. I wish to address an article published by the Jamaica Observer today, which is filled with speculation, innuendo, and unfounded allegations. The article claims to report on an investigation involving eight politicians, it says, from the JLP and PNP. The Observer article states that, and I quote, in almost all of the cases, the allegations have been made to the Integrity Commission by people who claim to have information surrounding acts of corruption or illicit enrichment, but there is no documentation to support these allegations, end quote. In other words, malicious stories may have been concocted and sent to the Integrity Commission for partisan political reasons without any foundation whatsoever. I want the public to note that this reporting by the Jamaica Observer is entirely separate from the eight sitting members of parliament cited by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment. The allegations reported by the Observer article are not part of the ongoing investigation by the Integrity Commission into the eight MPs who are accused of illicit enrichment. In my view, this is a blatant attempt to confuse and mislead the public. I want to be clear, as leader of the opposition, I directly consulted with all sitting members of parliament and senators of the People's National Party. And in these discussions, every parliamentarian from the PNP has confirmed to me that they are not aware of being investigated by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment. The PNP firmly maintains its position that any parliamentarian, from whatever side, who is guilty of the offense of illicit enrichment should face the full force of the law. They should be dismissed from public office and should never hold public office again. The PNP stands resolute in its commitment to transparency, accountability, and good governance. I urge the public to remain vigilant and recognize this report for what it is, a deliberate distraction from the Integrity Commission's investigations into the eight MPs who have been identified for illicit enrichment. We want to know who they are and we look forward to the reports coming to Parliament and being made public. This is a serious moment in Jamaica's political history and I urge all Jamaicans to rely on credible, verified information rather than allowing partisan media outlets to distort the truth. Visit our website at pnp.org.jm or check us out on Facebook at Jamaica PNP. Blessed evening to my viewers and my subscribers. As you click on the video, please do me a favor, like and share the video. As you click on the video, please like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet and turn on the post notification bell for new content help me get to 100k subscribers so remember as you click on the video please like and share now people let's get into the matter why there are eight parliamentarians who are under investigation for illicit enrichment but the Jamaican Observer and other media outlet cannot tell us which party they are from. But, but they are trying to use fake reports to distract the people of Jamaica from those eight members of parliament who are under investigation for illicit enrichment. Why are they hiding it? Why are they hiding from the Jamaican people but they are quick? To draft up something to make the People's National Party look bad. Then, if that's the case, then that means you would not have what? 10? That's where you go. 10, 11 people from the Jamaican Labour Party side who under investigation for illicit enrichment and five from the PNP. If it should go that way. So any way you take it, you don't look bad from the Jamaican Labour Party side. But the question is, why now? Why are they trying to do this? Why are they trying to distract the people of Jamaican? And just in time when the Prime Minister under pressure with him statutory declaration. And people, don't be fooled. There is no way at all the Integrity Commission would take three years to try to find information 
and the Prime Minister for just four account with three hundred and thousand dollar a night. Don't be fooled. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them, me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember in everything you do, always put God first in every and uh, any situation. Just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. My viewers and my subscribers, make a run intro and come back with so forward. All right. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. I do not support corruption. Corruption takes money away from children's education. It deprives hospitals of basic necessities. It means that roads are not fixed. Corruption deepens inequality. It siphons off taxpayers' money to make a few cronies richer with the political connections instead of benefiting the people. This government has been doing everything it can to weaken and undermine the Integrity Commission, which is an institution that I designed as Minister of Justice and brought the legislation to Parliament to fight corruption in this country. I have said it before and I will tell you again, Jamaica cannot move forward without a government built on integrity that embraces principles of good governance in this country. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers them. We continually support the channel and help the channel for grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform and people. Remember, we are on our way to 100k subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time for you to subscribe. Please subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. All right. Now, people. Andrew Wallace finally ready for send troops go over there in Haiti. Haiti a fight for freedom. Haiti a fight for get away from the slave masters. Jamaica under pressure from the slave masters. Including the government of Jamaica. He is a slave master as well. He is a puppet and a string. Where them can pull him shoes lace. And pull him. And pull anything when they want to pull. And use him. Use him to destroy the people of Jamaica. Haiti. A fight for them right. But this man. One for sin. Our soldiers and police go over there. In Haiti. When crime is out of control. Here in Jamaica. Him should have the same guy foreign. Go look, go look like a support. Him. A try to get. To send fame soldier them. Go for him. This man is so corrupted. People. Check out why I'm officer people. In March 2024. With the support of the United States and Canada. Jamaica brought other CARICOM personnel together. Along with our own forces. To begin training for deployment to Haiti. So as Minister of National, as Minister of Defense, as Minister of Defense, today we announce that Jamaica will begin its participation in the multinational security support mission with the deployment of 24 personnel to Haiti to provide command, planning, and logistics support. The deployment is comprised of 20 JDF personnel and four JCF personnel. The security forces continue in a state of readiness to support further deployment towards our overall commitment 
as the mission in Haiti is scaled up. Jamaica has close fraternal ties to the people of Haiti, and we stand in solidarity with them. Jamaica also has a national security interest in the situation in Haiti, one of our closest neighbors. It is in our interest to support a long-lasting resolution to the problems in Haiti. Here in Jamaica, we see the growing entrenchment of gangs who organize the production of armed violence with a view to economic gain, spreading terror in communities, and weakening the state's guarantee to citizens' security. We see this as an evolving existential threat to law and order and the proper functioning of institutions of the state, not only in Jamaica, but in several countries across the region. It is a regional problem. The threat of gangs must not be viewed as only a citizen-to-citizen -citizen problem, where regular policing and the criminal justice system would be sufficient to address the problem. The threat is at a level in the region where gangs and organized armed violence they produce is a threat to the very state. Haiti is the example of what could happen if states and governments do not take the problem seriously and put in place the measures and resources necessary to bring the problem under control. I have said this before, and I'm going to say this again. The government of Jamaica is a puppet, and the United States of America are using the Jamaican government to destroy Haiti. They are using Andrew Wallace and his administration to destroy Haiti because they realize that they cannot get to Haiti. They realize that. Why do they need the Jamaican government to solve crime over there in Haiti when the Jamaican government can't even solve crime in their own country? People are dropped like a fly at Jamaica. But yet still, you take up yourself your enough self. I go follow foreign government to you fight against your own black brother and black sister. Them, you see how corrupted you be. You see the type of leader where you be because and I like I say, Una go try to solve the crime rate over there in Haiti. Una try to take with them resources and all of them something there. Una try to take away them minerals and all of those stuff. By the help of the Jamaican government and other Caribbean government, the United States will finally conquer Haiti in the way of them want to conquer Haiti. Haiti rather stay poor for the rest of their life than make other foreign countries come there and take away, come take away what they have over there and take over their country. The Jamaican government is a very very corrupted puppet government where everybody can just use to destroy whosoever they want to destroy just like back in the pandemic when they use the Jamaican government to destroy his own people when them go take the joke when him tell life and God say a oh God make the vaccine that is to show you that this man is no good for us the Jamaican people. Another thing is that this man's statutory declaration have not been certified for the past three years from when they might investigate this man. Do you really think, say, are just four bank account, the Integrity Commission, pay over five point eight million dollar for investigate with 300,000 night? Do you really think that, people? 
Don't be, be, don't be distracted by the real facts. Don't be distracted by these people. Because they will do anything at all for distract you. Just like they come out and they say that there is eight uh, member of, what? There is eight MP who are under investigation for illicit enrichment. Which we don't get no proof from that, from the Integrity Commission anyway. But they are not going to tell you who are the eight criminal who are in a parliament where steal taxpayers' money and enrich themselves. Our sources close to the commission say on August 30 this year, its director of investigations, Kevin Stevenson, recommended that consideration be given to charging the prime minister for the monies located in four accounts at Scotiabank belonging to his father, mother, and a former constituency office manager. Two of their accounts belong to his mother. One belongs to his father and the other to the former constituency office manager. At the time of the probe by the Integrity Commission, the first account for his mother held a balance of approximately 300,000 Jamaican dollars. The second account for his mother had a balance of 67,000 Jamaican dollars. His father's account had 11,000 Jamaican dollars, while his constituency office manager's account had $823. In total, the four accounts red flagged by the Commission held a balance of 384,000. $130. That's Jamaican dollars. The Prime Minister told the Commission he had no personal knowledge of the funds in the four accounts. He told the Commission that his name was added to the bank accounts as an emergency contact and he had no direct interaction or knowledge of monies in the accounts. The Director of Investigation recommended that Holness be charged by way of omission for making a false declaration to the Commission. But a few days later, on September 2 this year, the Director of Corruption Prosecution, Keisha Prince Kamika, said no. She ruled that the Director of Investigations had not presented a strong enough case to support his recommendation for the Prime Minister to be charged. Prince Kamika says while Hollis had a duty to declare the sums, there was not enough evidence to support a criminal charge for intentionally omitting to do so. Prince Kamika wrote, quote, In light of the foregoing, there is insufficient evidence on file to establish that the Honorable Prime Minister, by way of omission, made a false statement in his statutory declarations for the period ending December 31, 2021, as it relates to the BNS savings accounts. Accordingly, no charges are to be laid. End quote. Our sources say the Director of Corruption Prosecution supported her finding with case law. Prince Kamika said the Prime Minister's explanation for the omission appeared greater than any suggestion he intentionally did not include monies in the four accounts in his 2021 statutory declarations. Prince Kamika reportedly wrote, quote, In accordance with the principles outlined in Regina v. Jones and Wicker, therefore the prosecution would again be challenged to establish that the omission was intentional, as required for the knowingly element of the offense, in the face of even greater support for the explanation which has been provided. End quote. Prince Kamika wrote that additionally, no evidence had been presented to contradict the Prime Minister's explanation in his response to the Commission or to suggest use of the accounts beyond the stated purpose. Our sources say the Integrity Commission's Director of Investigations had also raised concern with the Prime Minister's purchase of shares from a financial institution. However, no adverse recommendation or referral was made concerning that purchase, which the Prime Minister insists was above board. Nationwide sources say the Integrity Commission revealed in its report that prior to its recommendation concerning monies in the four accounts, it had hired an international forensics investigator to review the Prime Minister's financial affairs. We are told that the foreign-based investigator worked on those matters for about six months. It's understood the investigator reported to the Commission that he had found nothing untoward or illegal in the Prime Minister's financial affairs. The Prime Minister's 2021 declarations have so far not been certified by the Commission. It's believed that the Commission's probe into the four accounts, two belonging to his father, one belonging to his mother, and the other to his former constituency office manager, stood in the way of the certification. The question I want to ask my Jamaican people, my viewers and my subscribers, do you really think, because of four bank account? With no money in it, just change that thousand in it, would stop the Integrity Commission from certifying Andrew Wallace's statutory declaration for the past 
three years? Do you really think that could stop the Integrity Commission from certifying the Prime Minister's statutory declaration for the past three years, people? Come on, think about it. That could never, ever be the case. So, my people, do not be distracted by these people because these are a pure propaganda. Them. No believe in them. Now, hear what Dayton Campbell had to say. My viewers and subscribers. The thing is that I think Nationwide owes me an apology because they were saying that I have some source, but it turns out that Nationwide is the one that is reported on the report before it's tabled. Nationwide said you had source. a source? Yeah, man. It was said in your no, you... newscast, and person said it otherwise, that because I said the report would soon come, that somehow I had information. I had none. I was simply saying, based on the annual report, saying they were nearing completion, I was saying that the report would come soon. But it turns out... And it came the following day. Tabled. Yeah, because I was interviewed that day. I wasn't interviewed before. I said it before. Yes, you said it before. Right. And you, it yeah. came the following day. And prior to okay. your, your statement on the cover story, your former GenSec, Julian Robinson, also predicted that the report would come and it would be proving embarrassing to the Holiness administration. Right, and I'm saying that was based on the report from the annual report. But nothing in the report. annual report suggested that there would have been an embarrassing no, uh, revelation. No, that part. No, oh, I was talking oh, I about see. the timing issue. Oh, the I timing see. Issue. But be the last thing, your, to the content, your reaction to the reporting this afternoon? Well, I, I want to wait for the actual report. Um, I find it very curious that for three years, there was no leak from the Integrity Commission um, to any media house. And then as soon as the reports are tabled, um, two, four members, that we would suddenly get a leak. I find that very curious. And you're also so concerned that it has report. removed a political talking point from the People's National Party, no, aren't you? No, we're not there yet. No, we're not there yet. Right? But it would. So we, it, we will wait. Let's no, assume that the reporting is accurate. It would. No, I'm not assuming that. Mm. The Integrity Commission would not be investigating somebody for three years over three hundred and eighty four thousand dollars. You say that with certainty. No man, I'm saying logically, mm -hmm. well thinking Jamaicans mm -hmm. while listening to my voice mm -hmm. must be concerned if an integrity commission was investigating somebody for three years over three hundred and eighty four thousand dollars. That is absolute nonsense in my view. And I'm waiting for the actual report to be tabled so that we can see what is in the report and when it is tabled and it turns out the reporting is accurate what then well as i said i will wait on the report i do not believe this fabrication that i'm hearing now fabrication it's not, it's not logical it's not logical right we have why do you say fabrication country. we have a body in the country that we pay a lot of resources to and that body reported <laughs> that they are investigating members for three years, they did not certify the prime minister. I am absolutely sure mm -hmm. that they could not have been for three years investigating 284 dollars Because that would affect so your credibility. That would affect your credibility, wouldn't it? No, because it would, you've gone no, down man, the wicket no, on this your matter. your credibility is on the line. <laughs> and, and we're standing by our reporting. Are you going to stand by your comments over the I last two years? I am standing by my comments. I am standing by my comments. I'm making it absolutely clear. That if for three years the Prime Minister of the country was not certified and what was being investigated was $384,000 in some account, then something would be seriously wrong. Four, only for four, questions four accounts, four accounts, they also recruited and employed an international forensic investigator to probe the financial affairs, the entire financial affairs of the Prime Minister of Jamaica. That forensic investigator reported that he had found nothing untoward, and then they went and referred the matter to the Financial Investigations Division. That's all reporting that we are standing by this afternoon. And Do I you know saying, anything other uh, than that? I am saying, no, no, no. I don't have any source. You're the one with the sources. Oh, I you don't? Saying. You, I, 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 I rather no, doubt that. You're reporting on sources. I'm, I've never yes. said I have sources. You're yes. reporting on sources. My point remains, and I will stand by my point. I am waiting to see the full report that was sent to the parliament.
Mm-hmm. It was sent to the parliamentarians. I consider it very odd that it was sent to parliamentarians and before they get an opportunity to view it, that it can be reported by a media house. Nevertheless, I will wait on that report so we can examine it to see what it is that the Integrity Commission was investigating over three years. My it's, assumption no, is No, let's stick up in, people. Let's stick up in. I think Nationwide News, Cliff Hughes, they are all working around something to keep the people of Jamaica distracted. That is what I think. I think they are all working together to make sure that the Prime Minister get off this case without charges. And that is why this propaganda come out about four bank account. There is no such thing. People, Integrity Commission couldn't they, 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 they investigate those people and jewelness for the past three years for just a uh, three hundred thousand dollar only three hundred it have to be billions so no make nobody fool you no know. no make them come come go on like them can check on my viewers and my subscribers that now go work out it will definitely now work out people on a look out on our eyes look out on our eyes listen out on our ears them and jewelness and his team are trying to cover up the real truth, the real story. Now make them chick on them. But my viewers and my subscribers, let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. And as usual, remember, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And turn on the post notification bell. People might say you don't like the party. But we come from West Kingston. Me I back when I live a party. See? When I lose, me I live right till me dead. But things are going on like. I'll be clearly told how it is, bro. We move to Liam. I'm see PAP here in the country all about. And our lead, our party, we have the back it in. Them not do nothing. Them just sit back and feel say, yo, Jamaica can be love for them car. We are the good. It never going to work. We have to go and meet the people. We tell election next year, we meet the people. Eh? It can't work. It never going to work. And, 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 and if you can't, if you can't, what it is. We don't care who I'm vetting me speak. I want to meet. I don't believe for, polit for politicians. I don't want big man and I don't right to speak. I'm my party. You see me, I deal it. And all the rule of the road, party I go down, I do not like it. You see me, I say, you want to keep back and sit back and help the woman and them like ground. Go help them, go to help them out. See? Keep on looking at the party, they and then. Because Sunday, me, when see I go up, when see I go up, I'm not in a leader. If you understand me, I'm not in a damn town. See, I go up and keep that info, you know that too. Info, you know that. See, I go up and always have work and meeting. See, my leader say popular. I may mean, be reality. My leader say popular. And in my brother, I know works in Jamaica anymore. I 21st century this is me done. You see me as a, to me believe, to me as a man and God, for me a man and God, I will like the God, like bro God, I get it, I get it, I get it part, I get it next brother. And I saw me see it, and I saw me talk it raw. Got any idea? You grow and I'm broke and grow. If you have done it, people want to see you. See, go help the people up on the road. Go out there and campaign. PMP a camp for three years and you sit back and you're in a country. You campaign to better. Go out there. So PMP a come with all these lies. So like, with all these lies. Me. And you keep back. And you now say nothing. Dave, just just back see, back. see if to add to your point. Let's, rem let's remind some of these MP. We don't have any back of my head already now. And the councillors. This will not be an Andrew Olness election like 2020 because everybody flew an Andrew Olness ticket 2020. This is no, every right. single individual MP election that come up next year. So them get not because no, if we should be honest as a labor rights, and no for them JLP MP and not do what they're supposed to do just like no for no, them. No, them. No, no, no. If you see a girl in a Philippine, a fight for this. Info, a fight for this. Truck. I fight for this. Chopper, I fight for this. All the black of them, I fight for this. We alone can't do it. The, um, my man from England, see, I fight for this. They put up in family and in picnic. They still have fight for this. We know nobody come defend me, brother. We alone have fed the message. They have more information more than we. They have passed through for the lives of my talk. The families have come for the lives of my talk to the, the black of them. Like how Mark will go for life and talk to him, black of them, brother. So, brother, you see that thing you say. The man just so, keep back and feel, say, yo. I mean, I'm nah. Angie Wallace. I mean, I'm Angie Rose, and we can't get this. You know, mm -hmm. real separate gin. Classic of five feet. See? Wait, what? 
yo, this, 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 yo, John, yo, this I hurt me to the core. Show my part of me, love. I'm mean, in a good message. Me and me a labor right tell me, dead. me come to West King, I'm going to ever be a labor right. But you see me see fuck you, I'm going to talk it out and call it out how it is, brother. See, the part is too lame, brother. You see me, I say, it's too lame, and the Andrew Wallace, I'm going to give you a pill for too much big man. And I say, we're going to sorry in a long black car, because two hours of much I want more to win. You see me, I say, and if I say no, keep on this thing going, and if you say, get touch the road next year, and if you know, go so, and the Angela Moore, See, and, and the people both are like, we have people in Jamaica and we kick back in us and nothing better. See, I'm going to hit back a long time, brother. For them come the Monday, see, I'm going to come the Tuesday. You see me, I did it. I saw me know me, Eddie, 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 Steer. And you kick back in us and nothing. Because you're still going to be too. Yo, Jamaica people use the tax station. Jamaica people use no free tax. They use the PMP tax them, and that they love. You see me, I say, so now I change the country. Tell us you change, I change the country, brother. You know, just kick back in us and nothing. Go out ahead, do man, them. The people they want you at Portmore, they want you at Manchester, they want you. Go tell the people, them, brother. Go help them, the man. Go but I see him election now, you know, my brother. I see him election, a prime minister election, you know, you know, and a council and them something. All right, then. The you need to go out there, the brother. We need to chop our fight for this panel media. Classic. Chop. Info. Philippian. You see me, I say, everybody have fight for this. Politics and sport. See? Everybody have fight for this. And we alone have fight. The man, nobody in Iraq in the, on the, on the platform one now. We also want to make the government accountable to the people of Jamaica in the parliament. That is why I brought the impeachment bill to parliament. So then when a politician violates the sacred trust of the people, he or she will be held accountable. We want to deepen the democracy. We want to make the elected people more accountable to those they represent. We must introduce a recall mechanism for non-performing elected representatives as other parties and countries have done around the world.